locked in that submission and fucked his world up, dude. That was go all the way down to the bottom because we'll we'll kind of work it. Well, no, um, go down to the okay. Main he fought. Part, he fought. Uh, his first pro first fight was fight, in Akron, right. but I don't think I was there. Um. Yeah. There we are. Um. Yeah, he's fought in Akron, but um, interesting. I don't think I wasn't there. But it's from Pittsburgh. It makes sense. But but uh, we need to talk about this Dustin Jacoby Khalil Roundtree uh, fight. We need to do something with Cage Thunder. I know I keep saying that. Talk to him. Well, listen, it's I can't. But we have to. We'll have to buy or borrow some shit. Yeah, we can borrow shit. And we need some people to know how to do the shit. Yeah, we can. We we have people. That is kind of how we both work, though. If we like, we have to like commit before we start <laughs> trying to figure it out. Agreed. Yeah, but we'll figure it out. But uh, no, seriously though, seriously, 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 terrible decision uh, for this Dustin Jacoby Cleo Roundtree fight. Yeah, I didn't like it either. Terrible. I mean, I've seen worse decision. again, but I, I think Jacoby won this fight as well. Yeah. I uh, I watched this fight today before the fight before the show. Uh, caught up on all the fights because I got off work early. Dude, when I start betting in two months, two months from today, everybody, we start gambling. You know, and that's probably when I'm going to place my first bet. Probably like in the Rose Bowl or some shit. Um, but over the next card after that. But um, this is the kind of like when decisions. Get, that I think are shitty make me lose. You're gonna hear me go off. So like, oh you, yeah, oh they don't get passionate enough about MMA on this show. It's gonna fucking happen. When oh dude, on you're it. gonna watch this show become Mike, Mike and the fucking Mad Dog once we start betting. I think so. It, it's gonna uh, be a yeah. God. No, we're gonna go fucking. No, it's we're gonna get to everything once betting comes in play. Like, it's go I back. Feel like I'm already gonna have a problem. So Tim, what episode was it where I went to Vegas? Do you remember? I mean, I could scroll down and tell you which one if I found it, but it, the that episode after I had lost, we had lost the money. I was angry when we talked about that fight. Imagine if we have money on it every single time. Oh my gosh, like fifty to a hundred bucks a mm-hmm. fucking run. It's gonna be yeah, not fucking good. I need to make some money now. I want to try my hand at professional gambling. Okay, and so to do that. I have to be smart, and uh, also the decisions need to go the way they should go. Yes, agreed. Oh, yeah, Um, we're going to be heavy. One thing we need to figure out, though, because we don't have a sponsor, anyone out there. Listen, one of these sites should sponsor us. Why? Because it wouldn't take a lot of money, and we probably would spend more money than you give us. Probably. Because we're going to bet anyway. So one of you you sites out there should, uh, should, should help us out. Just sponsor. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which one we use. DraftKings. Why though? Like I, I looked up a bunch. There's a bunch. People like different things about them. DraftKings is the number one. FanDuel's right there too. Uh, and then MGM and um, the other casino. Mir- oh, um, what's the Mirage? No, Bally's? No, not about. Uh, I can't remember. Oh my gosh, it's gonna draw me nuts. That's nothing new for you, though. I know, but anyway, those I mean, like if we lose enough money or spend en- or bet enough money in-, in one of the ones that are connected to casinos, would they like fly us out there to fucking spend more money? I would hope. You'd hope. I'd hope we get points. Yeah, and that was the thing that I definitely would go with them. Um, man, what is? Oh, Jack's going to have their own, too. Not an app, though. I'm talking about apps. For the yeah, song. they're going to have their... I think they have their own app. Really? Jack Jack Sportsbook, yeah. Huh. Eh, I'd probably go more national. So anyone out there who uses... Um, I'm asking you guys, if you guys bet what you guys use, please tell us and what, what you think of it, because we, we're we going to have to find a sportsbook, and it'd probably, make more, it'd probably help if we all use the same one. We don't have to, but... We'll have like a show one, so at least Ray and I probably should use the same app. Absolutely, um, Thomas. If uh, if you could um, scroll now, up, Fandle Fandle's given. If you sign up Fandle now in Ohio, they'll give you like hundred bucks or something. So we talked about the uh, the, the Trishon uh, thing, and uh, what's the next one? 
The oh yeah, we talked about that. Oh, Means and Griffin. Means and Griffin is the next one we're gonna talk about real quick. Who on um, earth? On earth. I love Dirty Bird, but who gave him that fight? It was a bad fight. It was not good for him at all. No, but somebody it's a split decision. Somebody gave him I don't even know what the that's one of those that happens a couple times that I don't even usually I know kind of what they were looking at. Like, okay, I see what where you're coming from. I don't agree with you at all, but I see where you're coming from. This one, I have no idea where they're coming from. Uh, yeah. Um Griffin I don't even know dominated which they the, gave him. Yeah, uh, I'd have to go look at the, yeah, the scorecard. But the thing he, he clearly lost that fight. I liked him means a lot, but yeah, I wonder what uh, wrestling practice was like yesterday. Because he, um, I guess, teaches or like is a wrestling coach. Isn't that great? I think that's great in Arizona. A, no, I think a, it's great. New Mexico, Albuquerque. He's a yeah high school wrestling coach. And then I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, is it one of those guys that you're allowed to give him shit? I'm, Listen, Tim Means isn't in the UFC for wins. Tim Means is in the UFC because he's he puts on exciting fights, and every once in a while in his career, he has some more fun finishes, and he fights like a crazy person a lot of times. That's why he's still there, and I, I'm assuming he's still going to be there if he still wants to fight. I don't think they're going to cut him, I don't think. Well, he lost his last two, but the last one was um, Kevin Holland. But he's fun. Every time I see Dirty Bird on a card, I'm excited. Even though it's a good shot, he won't win. That's not really the point. So, I mean, he's making his money, right? Of course, he wanted to win, but he didn't get embarrassed, really. I mean, no. he, he didn't win, but he didn't get embarrassed. And I think then, he should have wrestled more. Yeah, probably, but what it, it, Griffin was just a beast, dude. And then this one. Obviously, knee was compromised at the end of the first round, and Calvin yeah, so. Cater just gets... Yeah gets fucked up at the in the end and uh arnold allen wins you know what arnold allen and if people in the chat are in the chat here tell me who you think um if i if my pick isn't right but who do you think is more underrated than arnold allen right now i mean the fact that he's like six i mean look i don't know i know listen if he if he talked a lot if he was a big talker he probably would have had a title shot by now but he's not but listen i mean you know the the belts might be vacant, so I feel like Allen and Josh Emmett are the guys who just, well, that Holiday is always sneaking around too, isn't he? So, or then make Emmett fight Allen, but Emmett doesn't, is always hurt, so I don't know. But I feel like Allen has just not gotten really his due quite yet, and this doesn't help him too much because he didn't do a lot, although he looked good. But I, I don't know. I really feel like as far as the most disrespected guys, it's Arnold Allen. Yeah, I mean, he showed he showed he, a, uh, he, showed he part of it is because he's such a sweetheart. Yeah, <laughs> like he's a nice guy who will fuck you up for money, but he's nice. Uh, yeah, I and I mean, even at featherweight right now, the division's kind of it's a weird spot sh- because Volkanovski is yeah. about to go up. Mm. What's up? Sorry, I'm reading comments. What are you reading? I'm reading nothing in the last couple of minutes. Arnold Allen breaks his hand every single fight, including the last one with Cater. He's not beating Volkanovski. Well, I don't think it's a fight Volkanovski right now, fake John Jones, but it's possible. Uh, Moss uses that one as a sponsor. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, they use my bookie. Listen, unless my bookie sponsors us, and no, nothing against our dudes at MMA holes. We love them, but I'm not going to use my bookie. Yeah, I. I it runs I, out of Afghanistan, bro. Like, uh, it'd probably be fine, but I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to use them unless they sponsor us. Yeah, I agree. I'm. A, I'm going to do through casinos or something like that where I can. Who has the best rewards program? Is there a rewards program? <laughs> I would say probably MGM or Jack, probably. Jack, I'll be able to like eat there for free. The amount of money I'm about to spend, I'm about you to should dump. be able to. Oh lord! One person ah. in my family that used to frequent the casino got all kinds of free shit. 
Oh, Every yeah. time I went there with this one member of my family, I'm trying to be unspecific. Um, we ate for free at like nice restaurants there and stuff. We got vouchers and we made like a hundred dollars of food for free and stuff. Like nice. However, like more money was poured into that place than that. But the fact. Oh, that, I. Know, yeah, I'm not. I'm not thinking it, that it wasn't maybe. No, it became a, a problem. Grand, but um, th- what? A couple grand. A couple grand at time ending up in like hundreds of thousands of dollars no this person deserved everything they gave them and the best is when they gave them elton john tickets and, oh, and get them a limo from oh, their house that's... which is like like 40 half an hour away from the casino that's hilarious yeah and then this family member said to me on my birthday which might have been my 28th birthday, 20. I don't know. Just don't, um, this person said, don't make fun of me, but I saw Alton John. I get up. I'm like, <gasps> I freaked <laughs> out. I was like, oh, if I knew you were a fan, I would have told you to come out. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah. To this day, I'm like, are you kidding me? That would have been the greatest night ever. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's done, right? So it's all right. Oh, Ray, mm-hmm. by the way. Yes. You can take this down, by the way, Thomas. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I think there may be a group of us going to Shania. I I'm I'm down to go. I don't know what kind of seats you're getting though. 